I yearn for the open savanna, for the distant roar of thunder. I watch as the sky darkens, expectant of rain. I hear the sounds of the wild and sense freedom. I am in Africa, and Africa is in me. The Martin Osner Fine Art Gallery presents Pride of Africa, a collection of stylized wildlife imagery by international photographer Klaus Tietje. I have traveled around the world and I'm living here since 10 years now in Cape Town. And um, after I did my first holiday trip to Namibia, I thought, wow, one second, I have to change something in my life. After doing the, all this commercial stuff, I thought it's over and I have to do wildlife photography. So I organized this other trip, Namibia and Botswana, went out there with my own car and Guys, I can only tell you it's breathtaking. It's really amazing to be out there in nature and in the bush with all these white animals in, at night time, sleep in your rooftop tent and uh, you hear the, I mean, you just get goosebumps when I'm telling this. Just uh, hear these, this noise of these animals making at night. Uh, yes, sometimes it's scary, but it's, I, mean, I love it. I have to go out many more times. When I made my first trip to Namibia and Botswana, when I came back, I had around about four images. I was very proud of these images. I uh, met Martin Osner from Martin Osner Gallery also the first time. And I showed him the picture and he especially liked one picture very much. And he told me, Klaus, when you come back with more pictures like this style, then we have found in wildlife photography something new. So I was very inspired and very motivated um, to find this kind of new style of wildlife photography. So I went out a couple of times to Namibia, Botswana, Kenya, and I think uh, we have got some good, very good stuff now. My personal favorite is definitely the two lines on the rocks. I mean, this is amazing. I mean, we had this perfect clouds there. I was very low, so I had the right angle, and it was in the same angle like uh, the lines and it was just before sunset and they had the most lovely position and they were looking to me. Uh, this is really my favorite picture. I really love it. At the moment I just finished off uh, a series of baobab trees and I'm busy with African tribes. I'm going out there, for example, like I just did with the Himbas, with my car and all the equipment of flashlight and I'm doing some quite special portraits of them, which I haven't seen before. As you know, I used to work in commercial photography and their life and work can be very hectic and pictures are, they don't have a long lifespan. My idea was to create some creative pictures which have a longer lifespan where people have these pictures and they are happy that they can hang these pictures in their living rooms and uh, even in 10 years time they are getting even maybe better and they still love these pictures. What is next? Definitely we are still busy with the coffee table book and after this, I don't know, but um, time will tell, life will tell and there are always new opportunities, new doors you can open and but it will definitely be more wildlife photography because that's, I feel very inspired by this. As the sun sets and the curtain falls on another majestic day, what remains are vivid recordings, moments that have been captured through the lens to be enjoyed forever. It's time, time for Africa.